everyone, this is Kayla Sina coming at you again with another review. Today I am going to be reviewing my gooey butter cake that Marilyn sent me uh, from the Ann and Allen Baking Company, which is at annandallen.com. Um, as you can see here, I've only got three pieces left because I have been happily munching and sharing this with people. Um, so, uh, yeah, and Marilyn, this was the perfect size for me. I don't need a bigger one. It works out beautifully. So, we will try this, but I'm also, just so that it's not like a 10-second video, I'm going to also be opening up these three accessory packs from the meal cold weather that she sent me as well. And I'll be opening up this one as well. Um which is from a British ration. So let's get started here. I do have sugar twins because I know there's tea and coffee in there, so I've got my teacup, which is my Homer's all purpose bucket. And I've got my coffee cup, which is my cool cats coffee cup. And let's see here. So we'll first we'll open these. I have my knife handy just in case. I also have my new, brand new titanium sport from foreignemory.com to use to stir my drinks. This is supposed to tear easily. Oh, there we go. Got it working. There we are. Okay, so. Pull out everything out of that. I'll just toss that there. So we have matches. These are white tip matches. We've got a latex free moist towelette. I'll just put it here. Uh, we have sugar, which I'm not going to be using. Uh, we have a hot sauce. And this has got aged cayenne, red peppers, distilled vinegar, salt, and garlic. Mm. So that sounds interesting. We've got Creamer non-dairy dry for coffee or tea. And I'll just put that there. We've got our Bill's Brew Instant Coffee, which I'm not going to use this one because I've got quite a few of them. But also I want to save this one for doing a review where I don't have a drink with. Of course, we've got our butt wipe, which... I find that this stuff is actually softer than the recycled one-ply toilet paper you get from the Dollar Tree. So, this is pretty good. Um, and, of course, to cinnamon gum. Now, this one here, these are probably all going to be about the same. I know this one is probably the same as that one. Um, over there, we've got our toilet paper, we've got our gum, we've got another Bill's Brew, we have our coffee whitener, we have our sugar, oops, we have our latex free moist towelette, we have the same hot sauce, we have a packet of sugar, we have the matches, and these ones again are the same with the white tip. And then we've got this one here, which I know is a little bit different because it has a different coffee in there and a different hot sauce. It's got tobacco in it, I think. So let's see here. Put that over there. We've got cinnamon gum. Stop throwing it in there. Uh, creamer non-dairy dry. We have... Nescafe Taster's Choice Coffee, which I've had that a million times. It's good coffee. Oh, these matches are red tips. So they're slightly different. Um, we've got our latex-free moist towelette, sugar, Tabasco sauce, and butt wipe. And then for this one here, this is where I'm going to drink the coffee out of it because it has a coffee I've never had before. Mind you, I haven't had Bill's Brew either, but I'll be having that with other stuff. So let's see here. We'll dump it all out. A reusable Ziploc baggie, which is great. I will reuse that. We've got V6 gum. 
We have Thai food tea, which I'm going to actually make up the Thai food tea. So I'll put that there. And then I've got the alcohol-free antibacterial wipe. We've got sugar, sugar, sugar. We've got uh, creamer, creamer. These are the water purification tablets. I've got gum. These are the strong mint sugar-free gum, which is good. And this is the coffee I'm going to be having, the Dow Egbert instant coffee. So I will, I've got my kettle of boiled water here next to me. And then we take coffee, pour that into here. Ooh, that smells nice. And then we take one of my little sugar twins, pour that in there. And then we can take a creamer. I'll, for the coffee, I'll use this one, the Beyond the Beaten Track one, of the British ration, and looks good. Okay, and then for this one here, the tea, we're going to open this. That didn't work so well. Me? No, I don't like using a knife opening up a tea bag. Because you run the risk of cutting into the tea bag itself. But we shall try this. I will. It says tear here on both sides, but there's only a notch on one side, so I have to create a notch. There we go. That's open now. Thai food tea. Mmm, that smells nice. Oh, yeah, and I forgot. So, yes, there's the package of classic super soft Paloma Kleenex in there, too. So, we'll just loop that around here. I will put the sugar twin in there. And then I'm going to actually use one of these, the Creamer Non-Dairy for coffee or tea. Shake it down a bit. Open it up. Looks good. Pour it in. Excellent. Okay. Now, I can add my hot water. Now, this mug here holds a lot. It's actually a two-cup mug, which is quite nice. And then there's the coffee. Like that. Now I need to dig out my titanium spork so I can stir my coffee and my tea. Okay. Still in the Ziploc baggie. Okay, there we go. There's my 4nmre.com titanium fork. Uh, go there and you can get get your own wonderful fork there. I'll stir the coffee up. Coffee looks like it could use a little more creamer in it, actually. And this just needs to stir it, get that. Trying to, I know, I know, you're supposed to leave the tea bag and let it steep and let it tone. I don't, I stir. I stir because I'm crazy that way. But, ooh, that's cool. It rests on there. Now, let's pull out one of these little napkins so that I can dry, clean off my fork here. Dry it off. There we go. Now I can use the fork end of my spork and I can pick up my slice of gooey butter cake if it'll unglue. Ooh. Crumbs, had to eat them. Well, let's see if I can get it out of the out of the uh, little tray here. Mm. 
Well, let's get it out. Come on. You know you want to come out. There you go. Thumbs. Okay. Now, I'm going to be caveman about this. I need to switch my fingers, so. See that gooey butter cake? It is so tasty. Now. I've never had butter cake before. I've never even heard of it before. This is fantastic, and I wonder where the hell it's been my entire life. Because before I was diabetic, I would have been inhaling this stuff all the time. Yes, Renee, it is my favorite cake, too. But, um, yeah, it's so good. So good that I can't resist eating more. And I'm going to be a very bad diabetic today. That's why I use the sugar twin in my drinks. I don't know, kind of makes up for it maybe. I'm finishing this off today. There won't be any left. But yesterday I was good. I only had one slice, so... And I know it looks like, oh my god, everything's gone, but then I gave my sister five slices. She's trying to lose weight, so she didn't have, she didn't even try one, which is too bad. But the guys all enjoyed it. They ate them all up quite happily. They ate mom's slice too, so. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, it was, it, it went over very well, and then this, this morning I had a friend come to visit, and I gave him two slices, and he really enjoyed it as well. He'd never had it before either. So, this is awesome. Now, I will give this another stir, because it's looking like it's probably steeped enough now. curious to try this Del Egbert's coffee because I've not had that before and excuse me, I'm eating. There is a um, website for expats where you can buy um, a lot of British food and they actually have a big container of the Dell Egbert's instant coffee so and it's quite reasonably priced so if I'm if I like this I might actually order some okay let's see well It definitely tastes like instant coffee. <laughs> I know, big surprise, instant coffee tastes like instant coffee. Uh, but it does. It's not um, the smoothest. It's got a little bit of, um, of a bitterness to it, which um, actually kind of surprises me. But with having the sweetener and the creamer in it, that really surprises me. So I've got sticky fingers now. So I'm going to actually clean my hands here. These are nice and wet. That's the, uh, that's the one out of the MCW. No smell to it. So let's try my tea, but I want to take bag out and I'm going to do what everybody else seems to do but it makes sense so that you don't make a mess on your table I squeeze the tea bag that's all that's the only reason why so that I won't have tea dripping down into my uh, gooey butter cake otherwise I don't squeeze tea bags normally and let's try the Thai food tea
Well, that's actually really a nice, strong black tea. Um, that's really good. So only one more thing for me to try out. I'm going to try the Strong Mint Sugar-Free Gum with sweeteners. And we'll see how that goes. So we get, we open the package, we get two little briquettes, two little tiny bricks there, and we will crunch and munch and see. Definitely strong mint. But it's quite nice. Um, I'm normally not a big mint liker in gums and stuff like that because I got overloaded as a kid with mint toothpaste and mint everything. But that's actually really nice. Okay, so that's going to do it for me today. Um, please check out the links in the description below. Uh, also, don't forget to go and visit nnallen.com. And for the web address, it's the word and, not uh, the, the and symbol. Um, so nnallen.com and get yourself a wonderful, delicious gooey butter cake. She's got tons of flavors. I think there's like 75 flavors or something like that. So there's something for everyone in there. Thank you all so much for watching. I love you all. And thank you once again, uh, Marilyn, for making this video possible. Love you all. Bye.